music coming up. Yes, we do. Our next guest has opened for the legendary B.B. King. Oh, that is some, saying something right there. He is just 30 years old, but has been playing guitar, get this, for about 25, 26 years. <laughs> Joe Bonamassa, come on up, my friend. Hey, Joe, how, how you doing? Yeah. Good, how you doing? Good Great to see, see you. Good to see you, guys. Hey, welcome. Thanks for coming in, man. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Joe, the music playing in the background. You can't hear it, but I can hear it in my earpiece. Ah, lovely. Awesome. Good to see you, <laughs> Joe, um, number one record on Blue Strats, Billboard? Yeah, you know, it's been two months, and um, it came out August 25th, and it's been number one ever since, and I, I just, it's like, pinch me, it's like, it's a, like a dream come true, but it's like, it's been great, you know, the fans have been so supportive of it, and, you know, been emailing, you know, other people about it, and, you know, they've just been buying the record, so it's, I can't question it, and I, it's and great. not complaining either. No, I'm not complaining <laughs> at all. And so. you said you've had number ones before, so when it hit number one, you're kind of like, cool, this is happening again, and now it's just like... Really cool to stay in there. Yeah, I mean, the fact that it's been there for two months has been a really, you know, a new experience for me. Yeah. You, know, you know, my posture is better. Food tastes better because of it, you know? <laughs> I hate to see what I'm going to feel like when it goes to number five or something like that. Uh, <laughs> now, Joe, you'll 30 just years do another old. one. You'll just yeah. another one. 30 years old, you've been playing since about four years old? Yeah, I started playing when I was four. My dad owned a guitar shop, so, you know, what happens is, you know, there's guitars around the house. And so I just started playing, and I just loved it. It was like, you know, something I just knew I wanted to do from a very early age. And, right. you know, it's like I really kind of dedicated my whole childhood to just playing. Why the blues? I mean, some people mm -hmm. pick up rock and roll and different yeah. types of music. It's just different tastes, you know. The, for me, it's like when I first heard Eric Clapton play the blues, I was just like, wow. It's like, what is this music? You know, and I was like six years old. And, you know, it was just one of the things. It's the kind of music I grew up playing. And, and I got into other styles subsequently, but... but it all kind of begins and ends with the blues with me. And you have been very busy recently. You were just giving us, give the folks at home a list of where you've been in oh. the last week. <laughs> the last week, uh, world traveler. Paris, Amsterdam, Cologne, Germany, Moscow, Raleigh, North Carolina, Richmond, Virginia. Wow. Yeah. And, you know, it's like I started hosting this uh, radio show for Sirius Satellite Radio. Uh -huh. So we've been doing a lot of this stuff kind of like on location. And it's like, I don't even think the viewers or, you know, listeners of the, state, you know, the, the show go, he can't be in Moscow doing your show running <laughs> Yeah, no, really, I am. Oh, the internet's great, you know. <laughs> Tell me what uh, your father thinks now. Oh yeah. My dad's really proud. I bet. You know, he's also my biggest critic, and he's like, he'd be the first one to say, like, I don't like this, Joe. You should do it, you know, the other way. But, you know, my dad and my mom and my sister have been so supportive, and you really can't do that, you know, when you're like a child, you know, prodigy coming up in that kind of, uh, you know, environment. You can't do that and come out kind of normal on the other side without having like great parents, you know. Oh, yeah. And my mom and dad have been just super and. You know, they come to the shows, and they, they love the tour bus, and, you know, they show my aunts, and I go, look at this bus. <laughs> See, and I think it sounds so glamorous in all the places that you've traveled just in the last week, but you were saying you worked really, really hard, and for a really long time, to be doing what you're doing and be where you are. Yeah, I mean, I started playing professionally when I was 11, wow. and, um, you know, I've had, like, seven albums out and, and a couple of DVDs, and it's just like, you know, when you first start, and, you know, it's like we're, tonight we're playing the, you know, Toad's Place, which is great, mm -hmm. and... Um, when you first start out, you're playing small little clubs, and, you know, there's 20 people there, and it kind of tests your will to do this for a living. But, you know, I mean, then you see the fans come back, and you meet so many great people, and um, that's why I do it. It's just like, you know, meet people from all over the world, and, you know, I learned to say thank you in about 18 different languages, you know? <laughs> yeah. like, that and, like, it's Diet Coke, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the necessities in life. Exactly. Joe, what do you love? I mean, we have about 30 seconds for the interview, but what do you love about performing in front of a live audience? You know, it's different every night. You know, a record is a record, and it's very, you know, finite. And um, for me, it's like to be able to go out there and play something different every night yeah. and know that if I screw up tonight, I'm, there's always tomorrow to, you know, redeem myself. And that's what I love about live performing. It's the interaction between the crowd. It's the interaction between you and your band. And never is one show like another. So that's why it just, it just keeps you coming back. Well, speaking of a live performance, we're going to hear from we Joe coming up. we got a mini show that's coming right. up. right. So do stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. He is Guitar Player Magazine's 2007 Best Blues Guitarist. Joe Bonamassa is here. Oh, and he is awesome. This morning he is going to be performing a, a new song off of his uh, album. Virginia, this morning, uh, Joe, welcome. Take it away, buddy. Oh, and she won't 
<laughs> she was actually. Met <laughs> for a brown haired girl too. <laughs> Joe, thank you so much. Joe that performs tonight at Toad's Place with Crosby Lockins. Doors open up at eight o'clock. Show begins at nine. Tickets are twenty bucks, but you can get a gold circle pass for thirty-five dollars. Joe, thank you so much, my man.